For this page, we are going to cut our color wheel in half again. So if you remember, for our color wheels, one half is warm or hot colors, and another half is cool or cold colors. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to make the cool colors to make a cool cat, and the warm colors to make a hot dog. So I'm gonna start with my cool colors, my cold colors. And so if we look back at our color wheel, our cold colors are blue, green, and purple. Okay, now there are actually a lot more cold colors out there. There's teal, there's sky blue, there's violet, there's everything in between. You guys have seen the color wheel in the classroom. It's got all sorts of light blues and dark blues and army greens and uh, lilacs and all sorts of different colors. Now your crayon box might not actually have all of those, but you can use any of them on your cool cat. And so remember, it's got all these different parts, so we're not gonna color the whole thing one color, but you can color different parts, different colors. So maybe I want my cat's mouth to be, this is mauvulous is the color of this, and this one's right on the cusp of, if it was a little bit more like a pinkish color, it might be considered a warm color, but so like my yellow greens and my red violets fall right on that edge of where we cut our cots and our colds in half. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep coloring and I'm actually gonna uh, put it on speed run just so that you don't have to sit here and watch me color the whole time. But I am going to keep working on my cool cat. All right, so now that I've finished up my cool cat, I've started my hot dog. And now remember, for our warm colors, you are using the other half of the color wheel. So that's like red, orange, yellow, but you also have a whole bunch of ones that aren't on the color wheel that we made, like pink and um, sandy yellow when, I don't know, Crayola has all sorts of weird names for their colors. You can also do red orange and dandelion and goldenrod, all those different colors. And you can see here, if I push hard versus if I push light, like we've practiced, I can get different values. So once again, I'll show you, I'll push hard with my red here and I'll push light with my red over there. So even if you only have those three basic warm colors, you can still get lots of different types of colors on your hot dog, okay? So I'm gonna keep coloring my hot dog here, keep on keeping on, and I'm gonna do a speed run, so once again, you don't have to sit and watch me color forever in a day. But remember, I can only use warm or hot colors on my hot dog. No cool colors this time. that I'm all done. I just have to take a picture and turn it in. And that is how we make our cool cats and our hot dogs.